Hi, my name is Alan Dellinger. I work for GPM Hydraulic Consulting. Uh, many hydraulic systems that uses hydraulic motors and cylinders utilize cross-port relief valves to absorb shock to protect the components. So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to set the cross-port reliefs in that type of hydraulic system. Now when you have cross-port relief valves, normally you have two relief valves, one to protect say the forward direction of a motor, one protects the reverse side of the motor. Okay, So um, actually now we have four settings. We have a pump compensator, we have the main system relief, and two cross port reliefs. So that means there's four pressures that have to be set simultaneously. Of course one thing you always remember is that you always start with the highest pressures first and, and work your way down when you're setting any pressures. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is isolate our hydraulic motor. We cannot have a hydraulic motor rotating if we're going to set these cross ports. Now cross port relief valves are normally set two to 400 PSI above what it takes to drive that motor. Okay, So we have to isolate it. So what we have here, and we're going to use a lot, utilize our hydraulic trainer to make these adjustments. Uh, we have two flow controls uh, installed on a hydraulic motor we're going to use for isolation. A uh, hand valve can be used or sometimes you simply have to disconnect the line and plug the line off so you're not rotating your motor. Okay, So that's the first step we have to do. Uh, next we go to our cross port relief valves. We turn them counterclockwise. We're going to reduce the setting to a minimum. Be careful not to unscrew those adjustments too far. They may come out. You can, you can wiggle the screw you can, or you can tell when you're off the spring. The next thing we're going to do is go to our main pressure relief. We're going to turn it counterclockwise. Now as we start turning this one, our pump volume will start dumping through here back to tank. We just simply want to lower it until we have 100 PSI on the gauge. Now we've got all three relief valves lower to a minimum. We have to go to the pump compensator, turn it full clockwise. Okay. Now we're ready to set the pressure. Now we're going to have a 500 PSI setting on our compensator. The main pressure relief always has to be set 250 above that at least. So we're going to set this to 750 or cross ports will be set at 700. First thing we do is we set the highest pressure first, which is our main pressure relief. We're going to set it to 750. Okay. Now once we set that one to 750, we can now energize our valve and set our cross port. So with this cross port, we want to turn it clockwise, and we're going to set it at 700 PSI. Okay, we have one set. We'll have to shift our directional valve in the opposite position to set the other one. We're going to now set it to 700. Okay, now once we're setting the cross port reliefs, we need to de-energize our valve to deadhead our volume downstream of our pump once more. You'll notice immediately we start dumping across our high pressure relief at 750. Now we go to our compensator and turn it counterclockwise to our desired setting, which is 500 PSI. Now once all four pressures are set, we can lock down all of our reliefs, lock down our compensator, and we're ready to go. I hope you found this tip helpful. If so, visit our website at www.gpmhydraulic.com to learn about our two-part training.